Hello, I'm Chris from uh, Family Camper Van Adventures. Uh, we're just going to do a quick demonstration of empty and accept toilet. Uh, some people don't like the idea of it. Um, we we use it for everything, ones and twos. Um, I haven't really got any problems emptying it. I, you know they can smell. Uh, as long as you've got a good amount of chemical in and you empty it every couple of days when you're camping, you shouldn't get too many bad smells. Um, but if you leave it a bit longer, then it can do. Um, my number one tip there is just to uh, breathe through your mouth. Don't breathe through your nose, and uh, you shouldn't be able to uh, smell anything too bad. So. Let's have a quick look at our toilet and then I will do a demo. So this is our domestic cassette toilet. It's uh, like your normal your normal toilet at home. Um, apart from before you use it, you pull the handle out, it opens it up into the cassette down the bottom. It doesn't open a little bit further but the door's in the way at the minute. Um, and then to flush. You just push the uh, the button in the middle, and that flushes it. But you have to have your water pump switched on for that. Um, there's only two real lights you need to worry about on there. Um, it's your nearly full light that comes on. You might want to think about emptying, and your full light, and then you definitely need to empty it, or else you'll be overfilling, and it will make a bit of a mess if you overfill it. Uh, this one's just a little warning light to say the cassette's been removed, so I'll show you that in a moment. The other light is for a flush fluid being low. That's only for ones with a separate flush tank. We don't have that. We use a main water tank and obviously have to have the water pump on. Now to get to the cassette, it's uh, on our camper van. It's hidden behind this door um, in the back. Camper vans, you open up the rear barn doors, and you get in here. We've got a little storage area in there, and then so you make sure the flap's been shut on the other side. And then you simply lift that little lever there. We are quite full, so it's quite heavy, and it slides out. And then we should have the warning light come on, so hopefully, no one you haven't told that you've emptied it, or even if you have told them and they've suddenly need to go, that light should warn them not to to use it and also if they pull the flap open they should get a load of daylight uh, we do have so obviously you pull it out lift it down onto the ground and nice little handle and wheels to wheel it to where you're going normally on a campsite you would empty it in uh, a special disposal point which is a nice flush usually a a hose to rinse out uh, but we're at home so we're going to empty it down a drain main drain out in the back garden and use the garden hose pipe to clean it out so this is the uh, chemical we use it's a one chem probiotic set toilet um, so make sure you get the, uh, the actual um, toilet chemical not the uh, flush chemical unless you have got a separate flush tank Whereas that won't uh, work very well. Uh, we find this, we've only used it a couple of times, uh, but we find it's really good. It's supposed to be eco friendly, um, it's fairly cheap. Uh, get it off Amazon, I'll put a link in the uh, comments for it. Um, there are other ones on Amazon as well. Um, just need to search around for what you think is going to be best for you. Um, but this one seems to work for us, it's got a nice little uh, measure on there. We put a double dose in, it's fairly cheap, isn't it? Obviously it gives it a better smell. So let's uh, empty the loo. So this is where we're going to empty it. Down in this main sewer. I uh, just need to move the plant and lift the lid. Um, it's the only time I would wear gloves is to lift the lid. That'd be gardening gloves. Otherwise you keep it, just wash your hands afterwards. Um, should all be good.
can open up the main cover there. If you want to give it a thorough clean out, but normally, normal clean out, just do it through here, clean up. Campsite, you know, a nice purpose built facility. I suppose I could always take it up and use the toilet upstairs. That would be a bit messy in there, in the bathroom. So, putting it away, it's just reverse of uh, taking it out. So, open up the little door, get the toilet, get it set, and then it just slots in so it goes click and then uh, all ready to use. When it comes to cleaning, uh, any domestic product, cleaning product can be used. Always, always say is no bleach or products with bleach in because uh, it can damage the, uh, the rubber seals. Uh, a bit of Vaseline around the rubber seals um, keeps them in good order. Uh, but yeah, otherwise fairly clean. Um, it's just uh, all the smells are trapped in the cassette until you open it, uh, so just don't breathe through your nose in doing that. And afterwards, wash your hands, sanitize your hands, and yeah, don't eat, eat until you've uh, done that. <laughs>